Hey Steve, my name is Viola Wigwin at SEO and in this video, I'm gonna show you three things that you can do today to help bring in more customers to your business. So I'll keep this short, but if by the end of this video, you like what you heard and you can see that I have a lot of tricks up my sleeve that I can help your business with, then shoot me a message back and we can chat. Um, if not, no worries. I hope you're able to take these tips I'm giving you and put them into action. Now, the only thing I ask, if you don't mind, would just be to give me some feedback on this video and let me know if it was helpful. But the three things we'll be going over are content, backlinks, and citations. So first up is content, and that's pretty much anything that you can see on your site here. Um, it does include the words. Also, it includes the pictures that your words are saved as. And Google pretty much wants to see 1,500 words on the homepage of your website. But within those 1500 words, that gives you the opportunity to integrate in keywords that people are searching when they're looking for your services. So overall, honestly, your website looks fantastic, but my only suggestion would just be to add some more content onto your homepage. Because of course we want to appease Google by having these 1500 words, but those keywords that I mentioned are also a huge component and that's what's gonna help out a tremendous amount when you're trying to get ranked on Google. So when people type in Lawrenceville Roofing Company on Google, they usually bypass the ads. Oops, didn't mean to do that there. Let's get back. There we go. They usually bypass all the ads. Um, and the next thing I wanna talk about, honestly, is right here, the citations. Uh, citations have a lot to do with, uh, we call this the map pack. And basically a citation is your name, address, and phone number listed in various directories throughout the web. And when I say directory, I mean things like Facebook, LinkedIn, Yelp, Yellow Pages, really anywhere that would allow a business to enter those details. So you wanna check out where your competitors are being listed and you want to grab those listings for your business. But then you wanna double, triple, quadruple where you're found. So for instance, if your competitor has 10 directory listings, you wanna grab those 10 and then add another 20, 30, 40 on top of that. And that's gonna have you completely dominating them in that space, which will also help you rank on the maps here as well. Because as soon as your competitors start doing something different, it could affect your spot so you always want to make sure that you're staying on top of that so that you can beat them out every single month. Now let's jump down here to the organic section. Um, basically, I want to talk about backlinks. So backlinks have a lot to do with this section here because the way backlinks work is there's a website out there that has a link linking back to your website and it's pushing power to your sites and it's also potentially driving traffic to it. But not all backlinks are created equal. So Let's say, for example, you did some work for someone who owns an ice cream shop and they decided that they're going to take a link from their site and push one back to yours. But their link is going to be all about ice cream. So you, it's not going to give you a, a lot of help. It's not going to be very helpful. So you're going to want to get links from other roofing companies that send something back to your site and that pretty much sends a signal to Google that this is the industry that you're in. And because of that, Google is going to acknowledge it and it, your website will be a lot more powerful as well as more unique. And this will help you get ranked number one here while also ranking number one in the map pack as well. So I want to jump over to one of the tools that I use uh, just so I could give you a visual representation of what I'm talking about. So this is your company here. What it's stating is that you have 13 websites linking back to you 178 times. Look like you guys went up one. Um, and utilizing 21, 21 organic keywords, um, not driving any traffic to the site just yet. But I also noticed you guys are fairly new. So congratulations on that um, as you guys grow. So this will definitely help you. But let's take a look at one of the competitors, Team Roofing in Lawrenceville, Georgia. They have 298 websites linking back to them 1800 times utilizing 1600 different keywords uh, which is giving them over 1300 dollars in traffic per month so let's dive into their keywords and see how this can help you so you guys are in lawrenceville okay right here roofers lawrenceville so 300 people are searching for roofers lawrenceville per month and um they get 35 clients just from this keyword every month and they're in the number four spot on Google. You see how that works? Let's find another one. Lawrenceville Roofing Company. 200 clients are searching for that per month. Uh, it's not that difficult to compete with it. They get 25 clients 
per month per month from it and they're in the number three spot and they actually dropped one spot there so you know there's a lot of opportunity they're definitely very beautiful beatable uh but i will not bore you and go through all these keywords but i do hope that this does give you a good idea of the type of things that you would want to integrate into your content all right and Honestly, in order to beat out your competition, you just want to make sure that you're being found in a lot of the places that they are. But then again, as we spoke about earlier, um, always making sure that you are adding on top of that. This way, you're, you're far surpassing all of your competitors which is what will help you get on that first page of Google. So that's pretty much all I have for you today, Steve. Um, I do hope that this video was helpful. And if you would like more information about Gwinnett SEO and we can help and how we can help your business grow uh, via your online presence, please contact us and we would love to talk to you. But thank you again for your time and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.